Hi, I'm Rick Whittle. I'm here today at the uh, Association of the United States Army's annual convention. Uh, and we're gonna, getting ready to talk now with uh, Steve Mathias of Bell Helicopter, who's going to tell us about Bell Helicopter's uh, newest aircraft, the V-280 Valor Tilt Rotor, being built for the Army's Future Vertical Lift Program. Steve, thanks for talking to us. Uh, tell us a little bit about this aircraft and why Bell is building it. Well, the Bell V-280 uh, Valor is a uh, medium lift aircraft, or called Capability Set 3 now in in uh, most of the dialogue you'll see within the U.S. government. The intent is that it be a platform that shows leap ahead technologies, allows you to fly twice as fast, twice as far, to where we'd replace all the utility aircraft potentially out there, UH-1s, UH-60s, Apaches, and H, uh, attack helicopters. The basic idea is to overcome the physics that have limited helicopters to uh, speeds in the 150, 180 mile an hour range tops. Right. Yes. How, how is the V-280 going to do that? What kind of aircraft is it? So the V-280 is a tail rotor. The Bell Helicopter has over well, nearly 60 years of tail rotor experience. Uh, the V-22 is out there in the Marine Corps and in the AFSOC and the Air Force Special Operations, soon to be in the Navy. Uh, V-280 is named V-280 because it's 280 knot speeds. One of the requirements that the government wanted to look at was leap ahead technology that could get you operational reach, something that's faster and that could uh, move around the globe much quicker. So what, is, what are the differences between the V-280 and the V-22? The V-22, that program started in the 1980s. The aircraft went into service in 2007. Yeah. Uh, and I guess there are several hundred flying now. Um, but uh, what, what are the differences? Because this aircraft, although it is a tilt rotor, looks a lot different to me. Yeah, absolutely. So there's some of the very so easy to see differences are that this is a fixed engine, whereas the uh, V-22, the, in the entire engine rotates. In this case, just the engine stays fixed and then the rotors can rotate, which gives you a side door exit versus a ramp door exit. This is a smaller platform than a V-22. It's the size, as you look on the black uh, silhouette here on the floor, it's a size of a Blackhawk. So uh, the same number of these could go in a landing zone as a Blackhawk. So about about half as low, the load of a V-22 probably on numbers of people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's really built more for the Army than anybody else, isn't it? Well, I, no, I'd say it's right now there's three primary services that are involved with, so US SOCOM, the Marine Corps, and the Army all uh, looking at the requirement and what fits. So the Marine Corps certainly needs something that can keep up with the V-22. V-22 is a great platform that's changing the way the Marines fl fly around the globe. Uh, and this aircraft would have that capability. The Army needs that operational reach as well, as does US SOCOM. Well, I see this uh, video of uh, a recent ground test of your rotors. So you've got an aircraft that's been built and you're already testing the rotors. Um, what can you tell us about when it's going to fly yeah. and uh, uh, where, where, where it stands in the yeah. test? So it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful video up there, 100%. Uh, there's a Saturday, video from Saturday. So we got, we're up at 100%. The testing is going right on track. You know, we identified about four years ago where we wanted to be this fall and we're right there. We'll fly this fall. Uh, just, uh, going through test cards now, very deliberate process, but absolutely on track and it's just an amazing platform. Okay, well thanks a lot for talking to us Thank about you. it.